This is Orsin Smith, the conductor of the Philharmonic Orchestra of Indianapolis, the city's largest volunteer orchestra. As we approach our 80th season, we're pleased to present musicians and ensembles from the Philharmonic in virtual mini concerts. This video will feature the percussion section. Here now is Danny Marquise, the principal percussionist of the Philharmonic, to introduce the first work. We are playing three scenes from the desert, a composition written for two to five percussionists by Alex Stopa. Now, we do not have two to five percussionists here today. We have three percussionists and an oboe. This was with the composer's blessing. The oboe player, Kim Kine, has the same last name as the marimba player, Alex Kine, because they are married. So they're in one family and made it work very well for COVID preparations. It is great to hear these instruments and these musicians from the Philharmonic. Each of the percussion instruments lends such a unique sound to the orchestra setting, and it's very nice to hear them combining with the lovely oboe sounds. Let's listen now to the second movement.
What is so wonderful about all this is the ease of playing by these musicians, but we know it takes years of work to get to this skill level. So before we hear the third movement, Danny, could you introduce these musicians to us? Thank you, Orsian. Yes, it's really lovely to be here at the historic pagoda of Garfield Park. Uh, we're so happy to be together playing music. We've been in isolation preparing this whole time. Uh, as Orsian said, I'm Danny Marcus. I'm the principal percussionist of the Philharmonic Orchestra, and this here is Mr. Ed Fredericks, the principal emeritus of the Philharmonic. Uh, Ed, why don't you tell us a little about yourself? Hi. I'm a retired instrumental music teacher and was a nice commit repair technician. Uh, when I was seven, I got an accordion and started taking lessons. And in 1961, my family moved to another town. And I found out there was a band program there, and I went to the music teacher and said, I play accordion. And he said, okay. He gave me a little music test, and he said, okay, you can pick any instrument you want except not accordion. So I picked a uh, snare drum, and uh, 59 years later, here I am. So yes, uh, I, I started music young as well. A, a drummer named Kenny Phelps came to my school and uh, inspired me with his drum set and his message of dream it, acknowledge it, do it. Kenny is still a drummer here in Indianapolis, a really wonderful, legendary uh, percussionist. And I continued to study through uh, high school at Pike, and then uh, undergraduate, I got a uh, music media degree from Capital University in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, really wonderful school over there. And uh, I've been playing with the Philharmonic for about 11 years. Uh, Alex has been with us here for the past five or six years, I think it is, Alex. And uh, you actually brought this piece to us. Uh, Alex was the organizer uh, who selected what, what material we will be playing. But, but go ahead and tell us about yourself. So I am, I am currently a middle school band director in Noblesville. We have two middle schools, I'm at the East Middle School. And actually, I found this piece because it's adaptive for two to five people, and I actually played it with, we, we had one movement with my middle school group. I will say they got a perfect score, which is always good. So that was fun. Um, so I teach over there, and I got into music, pretty standard path. Um, in sixth grade in our school in Laporte, they, you know, they, they make you choose, and I had already played a little bit of guitar, I had a drum set at home, so I told my parents percussion was the only thing I was really interested in, and then from there, middle school, high school, I went to college without Valparaiso. Uh, I'm a music ed major, but I played a lot. I did a junior recital. I did a concerto my senior year. So I did a lot of things, and I just want to say that for me, you know, I I love making music. We were just joking. One of the takes we did, we like totally messed up because we just enjoyed playing so much together because we haven't had this experience in so long. It was just it's just fun. There's no feeling like it. So that's it. Wonderful. And Kim, I know you as an oboe player and as a pianist. Yes. Um, tell us a little, bit, a little about how you got started. All right. Well, I started piano in kindergarten and then picked up the oboe in fifth grade. It was the only instrument I could make sound out of, which is crazy. But I went to, also went to Pike, and actually did the side by side with the Philharmonic, and I thought, I really want to be in this group. Um, so, kind of a life goal for me a little bit. And then got my degrees in piano, but studied oboe at the same time. Um, and kind of here I am. I think my favorite thing about the oboe, which you'll see today, is how versatile it is and how it fits with like every group. So it's kind of cool. Yes, it's, it fits very well with this ensemble. And you just reminded me uh, auditioning for the Phil. I uh, auditioned for a couple of orchestras back a decade or so ago. And I remember it was my former orchestra director at Pike. Ed Staubach that told me uh, to try the Philharmonic, and I've been here ever since.
You've been listening to the percussion section and guest of the Philharmonic Orchestra of Indianapolis. Thank you all for your information and playing. I'm Orsina Smith, the conductor of the Philharmonic, and this has been a Philharmonic virtual mini concert. <laughs>